Number five is from section five on transformations of parabolas. This first problem, part A, is taken from worksheet five and it's number four from that worksheet. And it says to graph the parabola y equals one over twenty x squared plus four. Um, find the graph of the vertex, focus, directrix, and the focal chord endpoints. First of all, it is already solved for y which is a which is what we want um, it's in terms of x squared and if if it's a y equals parabola it's going to open along the y-axis the y-axis opens up and down so this parabola is going to open up or down because because of, of that y equals uh, to know if it opens up or down we look at the number in front of x squared which is positive 1 over 20 positive means you open up in the positive direction negative would be the other way. So we know our parabola is going to open up. The vertex is going to be 0, negative, sorry, 0, positive 4. And the vertex comes from, um, uh, there's no number with the x squared in parentheses, so the 0 value of our, 0 is our value for x in our vertex. And that plus 4 um, is, is where we're getting our y value for our vertex. So I'm going to plot our vertex at 0, 4. And now I want to find the focus. We know that that number 1 over 20 is equal to 1 over 4a, where a is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So from that, we can say, well, that means that 4 times a is equal to 20, and a is going to equal 5, because you divide by 4. So that's our distance from the vertex to the focus. And our parabola opens up, so I'm going to move 5 in the, um, above, the, above the vertex, which is off of our graph here. Um, so up one, two, three, four, five. That's our focus. Uh, that's going to be at, at nine on the y-axis. So our focus is at zero, nine. Our directrix is going to be five below the vertex which is at negative 1. And it's the equation y equals, any horizontal line starts with y equals, um, and the height is going to be negative 1, so y equals negative 1. Lastly, we want our focal chord endpoints. They're going to be lined up with the focus, and to find out how far from the focus they are, you take a and you double it. So 2 times a is 10. So we're going to go 10 to the right of the focus and 10 to the left of the focus. So if I go 10 to the right of the focus, I'm at uh, 10, 9. If I go 10 to the left of the focus, I'm at negative 10, 9. And so my parabola opens from the vertex through those focal chord endpoints. The focus is always inside your parabola. The directrix is always on the outside, on the opposite side of the focus. The next problem is taken from number 5, from worksheet 5. And here, uh, we are, um, it's not in the form that we want. We need to decide to either multi to, to um, solve for y or to solve for x. You solve for the one that's not squared. And we see the exponent 2 with the y plus 2, so we're going to leave that as is, and we're going to solve for x. Don't distribute that uh, negative 3. Instead, I'm going to switch things around and I'm going to write it above here. So I'm going to put negative 3 
in parentheses x minus 1 is equal to y plus 2 squared. There's an invisible 1 in front of the parentheses, so I'm going to divide by negative 3 and I get x minus 1 is equal to negative 1 third times y plus 2 squared. And then I want x by itself, so now I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And so the equation I want is x equals negative 1 third times y plus 2 squared plus 1. So everything's going to come off of that, that equation. First of all, notice it's an x equals parabola, which because it starts with x equals, it's going to open along the x-axis left or right. Then because it starts with the negative one-third in front, it's opening in the negative x direction, which is a left opening parabola. So o opens left. I'm going to take note of that. Secondly, I'm going to get the vertex. You have that y plus 2. The 2 goes with the y value. So it's the y value of your vertex, but it's the opposite of what you see there. So you got a plus 2 there, you're going to put a minus 2 in your vertex. The plus 1 is going to be your other value. In this case, it's going to be our x value. And don't change that one. So I'm going to plot our vertex at 1, negative 2. We know this thing's opening to the left. I'm not going to sketch it yet but that tells us that the focus is going to be to the left of the vertex. I'll label this V for vertex so I keep track of things. And to find out how far the focus is from the vertex, I'm going to take that negative one-third, and actually we can ignore the negative. I'm just going to take one-third, and I know that's equal to 1 over 4 times A, which tells me that 4 times A is going to be equal to 3, divide by 4, you get a is 3 fourths. So it's pretty close to the vertex. I'm going to go to the left, 3 fourths, not even a full uh, unit, so 3 fourths right there. That's my focus. And that location, well if I was at 1 and I went to the left 3 fourths, I'm at 1 fourth. Still at the same height of negative 2. And the directrix is going to be one fourth, sorry, three fourths to the right of the vertex, and it's going to be a vertical line. And it's the equation x equals. Well, I was at one plus three fourths, so one and three fourths. Or if you want to write it as an improper fraction, you can say seven fourths. Lastly, we want our focal chord endpoints. So we take A and times it by 2, which is 2 times 3 fourths, which is 6 fourths, when reduces to 3 halves, or 1.5. So we're going to go 1.5 above and below the focus, because these are going to be lined up with the focus. So 1.5 above the focus, one and a half below the focus, and our parabola is going to go through those points. It, they just kind of give you a sense of how wide this parabola is. Focal chord endpoints always line up with your focus. Uh, the coordinates of those, the one above, is going to be the same x value as the focus, so one fourth, and then um, negative one half because I was at negative two and I went up one and a half, so I'm going to be at negative a half. And then the one below it is going to still be at x is one fourth, and a negative two minus another one and a half, so negative 3.5, or negative three and a half. And now we have all the pieces we were looking for. So lastly, uh, we're going to look at number 7 from Worksheet 5. 
It says make a sketch and use the formal definition of a parabola to derive the equation in descriptive form for the parabola with a focus of 2.21 and a directrix at um, x equals negative 2. So starting with our sketch, 2, 1, it's right here, that's our focus, and then uh, x equals negative 2, that is a vertical line going through negative 2 for our directrix. Now our vertex, we need to know our vertex is directly in between the focus and the directrix. So it's going to be here at, so we have a vertex at, um, at 0, 1. So and we know it's opening to the right. And if we pick a generic point, point P, which is X, Y. We have our focus, which is 2, 1. And uh, the distance from the focus to that point is going to be the same distance from that point straight to the directrix. So I'll call that point D, which would be at negative 2, y. And the definition of a parabola says that the distance between our a generic point and the focus is going to be the same distance between our generic point and the directrix. Using the distance formula, x value from our point is p, x value from the focus, oops, The x value from the focus is 2, so x minus 2 squared plus the y value from our point P minus the y value of our focus, which is 1. So that represents the distance from point P to F. And that's going to equal the distance from P to D, so x minus negative 2 squared plus y minus y squared. So we work this out. Square both sides. You get x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to x plus 2 squared plus 0. Right, that's gone. <coughs> So when you have um, when you have three binomials that are squared, you're only going to want to multiply two of them out and leave the other one the s leave the other one alone. The two you're going to want to multiply out are the two that have the common variable. So here we have two binomials that have an x. So those are the ones we want to multiply out because we'll get an x squared from each of those and we can cancel the x squared out. Don't multiply out the one that just has one variable because it's not going to cancel out with anything and uh, it's going to be less work if you leave that in factored form. So we're going to multiply the x minus 2 with itself. We're going to leave y minus 1 squared alone and we're going to multiply x plus 2 with itself. And when we multiply things out, we end up with x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 plus y minus 1 squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. And you see we can um, subtract x squared from both sides, subtract 4 from both sides, and now we're left with negative 2x minus 2x plus y minus 1 squared 
is equal to 2x plus 2x. So that's negative 4x plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 4x. Add 4x to both sides. Switch sides. Don't forget there's an invisible 1 in front of the parentheses here, so when you divide by 8, you end up with x is equal to 1 over 8 times y minus 1 squared. And that is our equation for the parabola. Using, and, and we derived it using the definition of a, of a parabola.